All right, Jake, I'm filming. So guys, um, I'm in the hospital. I had an accident. I'm still gonna be able to fight August 6th. So get your tickets at M. Now that's going to be Jake Paul's situation where he eventually takes on boxing legend Mike Tyson on November 15th. Now there's still ample time for this epic showdown to take place, but it seems like the YouTuber turned boxer is crumbling under pressure, especially considering that he's fighting a legend of the sport led by millions of boxing enthusiasts worldwide. Paul has also fought and won a couple of fights before the highly anticipated bout, giving him able experience, however, that hasn't. Stop the boxing world from predicting the upcoming fight in Mike Tyson's favor. Jake Paul understands the fight in Mike Tyson, even at 58 years old, ain't no joke. He may have all the required experience to beat the boxing legend, but Iron Mike is well way more experienced than he is now. Jake Paul recently mentioned that he was scared of fighting a boxing legend, and then he knows what he's getting into by accepting this fight. This question is for Jake. Obviously, uh, Mike is one of the biggest hitters that the heavyweight division has ever seen. Um, I just want to know, when you're thinking about his power, he looks very ferocious on Instagram, especially still. Um, do you feel like you'll be able to take Mike Tyson's power at this stage? I know I will be able to. I'm, I'm a natural born heavyweight. This is, this, is, this is what I was born to do, is to move up into this weight class, and I'm going to show Mike who has the more power. Because he's underestimating me, I think everyone else is underestimating me, and I believe that I hit harder. I know it's going to be tough. I know I'm going to have to fight through adversity. I know I might even go to the canvas. I'm, I'm scared, don't get me wrong, but it's not about the fear stopping me. It's about going into it even though I am scared, and that's what true bravery is. Mike, can, can he take the power, Mike? Excuse me? Can Jake take your power? We're going to see, huh? Iron Mike also seems confident about defeating Paul, who's nearly three decades younger than him now. He's oozed confidence in his latest press conferences. Before the fight, Iron Mike hasn't hesitated and taken jabs at Paul, calling him fat and overweight. He also didn't hesitate to mock his previous fights where he failed to knock out other boxers and MMA fighters who were way past day prime. I don't know if he's in his prime, he's fat. He should be lean and mean, he's fat and funky. I saw him with his shirt off though, that he's fat. I don't did you start training already? Buster Douglas was fat, am I right? I know, but you're no Buster Douglas. He's not gonna win. Nigga, he can't even knock out Nick Diaz. Nick Diaz is 40 pounds. How you gonna knock me out? What's the other guy? Anderson Silva. He didn't knock those little guys. How you gonna knock me out? Who, who did he move. knock out? Who did he knock out? Little, little children. He didn't knock out, never knocked out a real man. Come on. I can't even get mad at this guy because everybody knows this guy's talking out of his ass. <laughs> and stealing money. I'm up here just stealing money fighting him. Well, just come to the fight and you'll see. Listen, listen, I started Jake off and I'm going to finish him. Jake Paul may have taken the shortcut by fighting MMA fighters and boxers who are way past their prime, but there ain't no denying that the former Disney boy is ambitious and he's gonna go to any lengths to be the next boxing legend after his defeat of Mike Perry. Paul boldly called out Alex Pereira, the current UFC light heavyweight champion. I mean, the guy does deserve some credit for wanting to fight all the legends in the combat. Sports world. Alex Pereira, Alex Pereira, you said you wanna box. I'm the king of this. I'm the king of this. Come over, we can make it happen. I want you, Alex Pereira. I just beat a uh, BKFC champion. I beat multiple UFC champions, and he said he wants to box. So Alex Pereira, after Mike- With that bold call out of Pereira, Paul has made it clear that he wants all the smoke. Now the dude ain't bothered about what the critics got to say during the latest press conference after the Mike Perry fight. Paul shed more light on his plans for his boxing future now. He also talked about why he wants to take on Pereira. Right there in the ring, and I said, yo, can you get out of your contract? If he can get out of his contract, then let's run it. And so when I asked him that, he had a pause. He like looked at his manager. You know, these guys aren't their own bosses. So I want all the smoke, but at the end of the day, will Dana let him out? That's too big of a risk if I could embarrass his number one praised fighter right now. But I want all the smoke. I want all the MMA guys and I've beaten all of them. Who's next? He's the king right now of the UFC, so I want him. I'm gonna decapitate him and dethrone him. And just to be clear, right, it was Anthony Joshua that said Pereira should enter the boxing ring. Pereira said, I'm honored, I would love to, who should I fight, right? And when he saw that, he said, hey, he should fight me. And we said, well, he signed to the UFC. And that was the basis of that discussion. Speaking of the bout with Tyson in November, Paul expressed his confidence and stated that he's prepared for was to come. 53 year old really be getting in the ring with you, do you think? 
Yeah, if Tyson wants to get in the ring, I'm down, and he does. So <laughs> here we are. He's one of the baddest men on the planet, and you know, if he wants that opportunity and that smoke, he's he's the one who is like, let's make this a pro fight. I'm gonna end you, and I'm ready for it, and I'm excited for it, and he's. A beast. It's very amazing. dangerous. It's amazing. No matter what would have happened here, somebody would have asked, asked the question of, should this fight really happen? Jake would have gone to a decision. They would have said, should this fight happen? Can he really beat Mike Tyson? If Jake would have lost. They would have said, thank God he's not fighting Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson would have killed him. He beat Mike Perry, who's an extremely tough man. He's not as tough as Mike Tyson, and he's certainly not as skilled as Mike Tyson in the boxing ring. No, he's not. Yeah, you don't even no, know. No, he's not. You don't even know his age, Next to be question. Paul also shared a roadmap for his career now a problem child hopes to become a cruiserweight in the future future, and shares the different types of bouts that he's been fighting in recent years. That your goal is to be the cruiserweight champion in two to two and a half years. How would fighting a guy like Connor who came after you, McGregor who came after you tonight after the fight, or Alex Pereira help you achieve that goal? Yeah, man, anytime I can get into a camp for a big fight and perform under the bright lights to prepare me for tough moments, I'm going to take it. So, you know, there's money fights, there's big fights, there's experience fights. I think tonight was an experience fight. Uh, November is a, is a massive, massive fight. And I mean, it's experience going up to heavyweight and being in there with someone who's been doing something, boxing their whole life. So everything is just on the, on the path to, to being a cruiserweight champion. And if I can go in there with champions of different leagues, those are the best of the best in the world. And they're going to bring the best out of me. You've seen what he's done to experienced boxers that have a similar record to him, right? So these moments, I think, help prepare him for those more experienced boxers. You saw Chavez Jr. tonight. He looked, he looked pretty good, but he was fighting a guy who was 1-0 in boxing, right? His 1-0 is against an NFL player. And yet, that MMA guy was able to hang in there with someone who has 60-plus fights. So it's not easy what he does to these MMA fighters in any way. He also shared his thoughts on fighting the rematch against Nate Diaz and MMA. He also opened up about his team making an offer for Diaz for the rematch. We went over Jorge Masvidal. We know that you beat him in the past when you guys had your boxing fight. How do you feel him calling you out again and saying that he's going to, you know, kick your ass? He wants payday. <laughs> payday. I know that. <laughs> no, but I want to do it in MMA. And he don't want, he, he, there's too much to risk for him. I don't think he thinks he could actually beat me in MMA. We made the offer and he hasn't accepted it. So Nate Diaz, idea is if that, if you want the rematch, we're doing it in MMA. Is there anything special that caught your eye from that fight with Masvidal? Did you watch it? Uh, uh, did you there, see anything new special? No, just, just a zombie. <laughs> <laughs> so Mike Perry, Nate Diaz, zombie. They, they're gonna be in the zombie apocalypse one day. <laughs> Eating people. Last one. Go ahead. Thank you. Jake. You can probably guess by now that Jake Paul is serious about his boxing career and ain't got no plans of quitting it. In a podcast with brother Logan, Jake once again shared his views on fighting MMA fighters. He also went on and joked about the threats made by Conor McGregor. McGregor. I think MMA fighters are more difficult to find the rhythm of and to pick apart. Well, there's one fighter who's trying to pick you apart for everything you do, and he does MMA. Conor McGregor chirping yet again. First thing he does, by the way, he's, he's your biggest fan. He was watching that fight live. I know. know he was. Come on, bro. First yeah. thing All he does, fights. hops right to X. All the fights. You know he got, he got hey, whiskey. thank you for the $65. Down his throat. <laughs> what? Thank you for the $65 buying the pay-per-view. Respect. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. dude, your pay-per-views are 65 bucks now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, that's Price crazy. Oh, that's so cool, man. But yeah, he went right to Twitter, fired Fired Mike Perry from the bare knuckle championship, which, which is such a cat at move. Like, like, talk about not being a ride or die. That's it, it's that's I just feel so bad for like kick a man while he's down. Well, man. he goes from look at look at what Mike Perry's doing. Like he's the BKFC put him <laughs> in these fucking positions, doing so good. He's gonna fuck up that little dweeb to you're fired. Like, yeah. <laughs> bro, choose a side. Yeah. Choose a side. He's very fickle. I guess common, that's... common Conor McGregor L. Yeah, he, I, I like him. He's, he's a walking L. He's, he's he's an L, but his bank account does slap. That's that's where he's a W. Why doesn't he just get in the ring with you? But that's that's what I was saying. Is he's on Twitter. He's on his yacht. He's on. But he's not in the ring with me. <laughs> and so until he, he does that, I don't want to hear any more shit. Wait, what was the, the what's his, what's the injury again? He broke it. 
toe. He broke his it's toe. It's such a ridiculous bro. He broke his toe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why would you do that? Okay, Probably buddy. stubbed it on a coffee table. <laughs> okay, buddy. Yeah, he's a, he's a he's a broken man, but he's entertaining, and that's why I still like Conor McGregor. But, but no, he's the most entertaining. He's well, so yeah, entertaining. No, he's the in, most entertaining. And so is Ryan Garcia, but they're both uh, crashed out. Come it's, on, it's, there's a big difference. I don't know. It's pretty C similar. Connor's it's like Connor's a behavior. Connor's a real showman. Ryan's just was at Bohemian Grove once. There's a huge allegedly in looks at things jake paul versus conor mcgregor would be a great fight for the fans now conor has already fought floyd mayweather and a clash with paul would be a popular fight among boxing fans paul but also readily accept the fight seeing the potential in his ppv numbers if he took on one of the faces of combat sports but let's focus on his upcoming fight against mike tyson now the sports world has shared their opinions on this bout and not many are happy about it being uh, mr paul and mr tyson which one do you think is going to win the only thing I'm worried about is father time. That's one thing that has never been beat. And Tyson's, he's, he's older now. But um, I pray that he comes out healthy. But I think, I think Jake Paul because of youth. That's the only thing because of the youth. Well, that's um, also outstanding as <laughs> this fight uh, in Riyadh. Mike Tyson at his age is facing a YouTuber that is much younger uh, and uh, hungry. <laughs> And capable of boxing as well so it's going to be a good example for uh, people that are at Mike's age yeah uh, it's also actually a good example for me yeah. to keep on punching so to speak uh, and uh, hopefully and uh, um, I look forward to that match as well you can only be too old in your mind yeah if you control your mind you control everything in your life uh, I got my taste really yeah I do okay yeah, I don't. I I'm sorry. I don't see how how Jake pulls this off. Uh, I see Mike Tyson punching him in the body, and I I don't see how Jake stops that. Hmm. Jake is not of the size to give Mike a problem. Mike can be, you know, big guys would hold Mike. Guys with long reach that outweigh him. Yeah. Um, I think. People that's Mike's weight with Mike's sense of center of gravity. I don't. I don't think there's anything that's gonna stop him. Uh, Mike hits him in the body. The body don't move that much. Uh, I don't see how Jake survives a body attack. Person. Okay, I looked it up. Mike Tyson is 220 pounds. That's one pound less than his optimal weight. And Jake Paul is about 200 pounds. He's got about 20 pounds. Are difference. you kidding me? He's only 200? Yeah. Oh, gee. This is worse than I thought. That was his last fight. That's what he weighed in at. Yeah. Oh, boy. That means, I mean, because, I mean, he he fought Tommy Fury um, at, he was 200 pounds when he fought Tommy Fury? Six foot one. Mike is what, five foot ten? Let me see. Huh. He's six one. Five foot I ten. Don't... Yeah, five foot ten. So he got three inches well, on I him. I mean, I know. I'm... Three inches I... for Mike Tyson is not a big deal, obviously. But mm. Tyson is fifty-seven, and okay. I don't care. <laughs> I could watch videos of him training all the time, buddy. It is. I get. There are a few athletes, him being one, where their highlight reel gets my card. Where I'm like, what the. Like, so this is what amazing. Shaq plays really oh, get you the, done. When they did the doc, they did the doc. ESPN did the doc about him and Penny. Rock hard, buddy. So you watch Shaq a slam it down. Shaq with the delts. Just, I mean, look, the old Shaq when you got jacked again, that was pretty awesome. But like, you young with that like just youthful energy, just owning that court. It was so fucking awesome to watch, dude. Like uh, white chocolate. Yeah, his highlight reels. Yeah. He's nice. Dude, when he, I remember the Randy Moss, Marshall, yeah, the commercial on Nike. That was incredible. That was and you're like, wow. But like Mike Tyson's highlight reels, when you watch him just duck and then come, it, it is so, and so like, yes, people but go, but is it making a mockery? Who cares? It's, I want to see it. But if you're Jake Paul, you feel good about beating a 57 year old Mike Tyson. You think he's going to win? No, I'm just saying, if. No, that's a better question. Do you think Jake Paul's the favorite? No, I, I don't think he's You just said Mike Tyson's 57, no, like he's got I, nothing no, no, left. No, I'm not saying I'm saying he's 57 towards 60. That's, that's what yeah, I'm saying. You've about. seen him train. 
Uh, There's power in those touches. I know, but I'm saying if Jake Paul does happen to win, does he really feel good about beating a 57? I would feel... I really would. Well, let me ask you this. You dominated a very similar era. You're younger than him. Do you think that Tyson can knock his out? Uh, I know he can. Of course he can. Do you think we'll get... Because, like, if you were training for something... I know that you would take no prisoner. Yeah. Do we think we're gonna get Tyson trying to knock him out? I know we are 100%. So then I'm in. The boxing world sees this as a disgrace at a sport considering the boxing legend has to fight somebody who's three decades younger than he is boxing legend Bernard Hopkins took it a step further and slammed Iron Mike for fighting a YouTuber the Hall of Famer took a jab at Tyson saying that he was degrading himself by taking this fight. As a disgrace at a sport considering the boxing legend has to fight somebody who's three decades younger than he is. Boxing legend Bernard Hopkins took it a step further and slammed Iron Mike for fighting a YouTuber. The Hall of Famer took a jab at Tyson saying that he was degrading himself by taking this fight. Mike Tyson coming out to fight Jake Paul. I don't like it. Is it because of the... Jay, I, I look at Mike, it's like I look at him different in a way of my era, like I, people looked at Ali, and I looked at Ali different too, but not too many people, Marvin Hagler, I, Ray Robinson, Sugar Ray Robinson. I, I don't like it. I think it's become more of a side show with some sweat, maybe some blood, if we're lucky. I won't watch it. No. I, I, I could find... I can watch two turtles race and be more excited. Is it because of the advanced age of Mike Tyson and the youth of Jake Paul? Just a mismatch or? It because how I look at Mike Tyson. And I shared not only the ring with Mike Tyson a few times, but the era, right? A little tip of the era. I just think it degrades him. And you got someone to cover up, like, so you're getting $100 million, you're getting $200 million. Please. Okay. I believe y'all call it that itch. When it comes to that itch, how do you, as a fighter, when y'all know, clean that itch? You know, so you asking me, when a fighter get that itch, what do you do to, to like give I, it that? You, you take a shower. Ever since that day. <laughs> Ever since that day. Mike, <laughs> I've wanted to knock you the fuck out. I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. In all seriousness, fighting Mike Tyson is such an honor to step in the ring with one of the two most famous people to ever grace the sport of boxing. Not only will this be the biggest fight of my life, but I think this has the opportunity to change the history of boxing to be one of the biggest fights of the 21st century and to step in there with a legend means the world to me. It's the biggest moment of my career and a big challenge. Everyone I've told so far has said, don't get in the ring with Mike. He's too hard of a puncher. I mean, just look at this footage. <laughs> That man is a beast, but I'm not taking him lightly. And July 20th, I hope to become the victor and to create history and knock out the legendary Iron Mike Tyson. Jake Paul, he keeps saying he wants to fight you. Do you want to fight him? That could be very interesting. It could be interesting. Mike Tyson says, let's do this. Are you down? 100%. Tyson versus that Jake might Paul be the, way. Be the best fight fucking ever. How would you feel if you stepped into the ring with Iron Mike? I would be in. Could you fuck him up? Oh, I'm so fucking easy. You versus Jake Paul, like this young YouTuber, takes on one of the greatest heavyweight champions that's ever lived. But I'm the best ever. That fight would be gigantic. Good. Let's do it, Jakey. Jake Paul. He's taking on the baddest motherfucker that ever lived. If Jake Paul is on the other side of the ring, he's going to have a recognition. He's going to look over and go, oh my god, that's really Mike Tyson. I have one punch power. He has one punch power. Now this seems like a difficult fight for Jake Paul. The dude may have a boost in confidence after his recent victories, 
but that don't change the fact that he's fighting one of the best boxers of all time who even had a video game made after him. So what are your thoughts on this upcoming fight? Make sure y'all let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next video.